Welcome to ActiveGuide.com. In this session, we are going to see how to install Oracle database. We are going to use Oracle 11G Express Edition. Uh, this can be used for development, uh, not really for the production purpose. If this is just for you know smaller database where we can install uh, in a developer instance and try testing uh, our changes. So I'm just going to install Oracle 11G Express Edition. I show you how to do that now. So I'm going to uh, search for this particular string. When you look up this particular uh, string and the first link, it's going to show you, uh, you know, Oracle 11G, and also it clearly says it's an entry level. It's a small footprint, and it's free to develop and deploy. So go here, click on this download link and then you will be directed here. So this particular 11G release to edition has uh, you know, multiple downloads. So which we are going to select is uh, Windows 64-bit. Uh, you have to accept the terms and condition. I have already downloaded it and I have kept it in this particular folder. I'll show it here in my drive. Here it's going to install. It will be under Okay, so, so sorry about that. It's Oracle Longi, and then you take this one, click on this setup. Yes, this is going to take some time to bring up the setup. So it's kind of asking for location where exactly we are planning to install. So I want this location to be uh, my E drive. So I'm going to say that's a E drive, and then I'm going to say next. So here it's kind of asking the root admin user ID password for this database. So I'm going to enter let me make sure I type it right. Yeah, it's better to note down somewhere because this is really needed to create the oh it's just asking the password. So uh, here, if you really look at that, the password used to for both and the system accounts. So the sys is account name and system is account name. Just we are going to enter the password. Okay, so yes, go for it. Now we may need to wait for some time until this install complete. Yeah, this is the final step here. So it's configuring the database. Let's wait for a few more minutes. Okay, now you can see the installation is complete. Just click on finish. <clears throat> now we are going to see how to create schema. So I am going to open SQL 
developer we know where exactly the sql developer available so i'm just going to pick from here it is install sql developer we had here sql developer here so let's wait for sql developer to load then we are going to copy these scripts Okay, so I'm going to create a new connection. It's going to be new connection. Here I'm going to say connection name as system. So here the username was system. So you can enter the password, whatever you guys selected during the installation of Oracle. I'm going to keep localhost 1521 and the SID is XC as it is the default ones and just do a test you can see the status is success I'm going to save it as well and then and do a connect here Now you can see that the window opened. Now I'm going to copy this particular uh, lines. I'm going to create the uh, user and schema. So I'm going to execute line by line. So the first line I'm going to execute saying, create a new user called Sterling 94. And I'm giving privileges for this particular user, which is Sterling 94. Just make sure here there you get the results as well so <clears throat> the next one going to be this particular one so it's executed keep executing each line as shown here so right now we are creating the table face so the table space created and also we are going to execute the final line so you can see that there is no error. Just make sure no error and all lines executed successful. Now I'm going to log in using this ID, which is Sterling 94. So this is going to be your local user, which is Sterling 94 user. And you can enter the password. Again, this is going to be the same. Just I'm going to do a test user. You can see it's a success. I would say it's a saving the password for my easy login. And I'm going to do a connect again. So this particular one, you should be able to see uh, the table structure, everything created. Uh, then we should be able to uh, lo create Sterling related tables and load the data into this schema successfully. Uh, Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to activeguide.com. Thank you.